This local sports report is brought to you by M&T Printing, offering banners, brochures, business cards, and more. Check out their website for a wide range of printed products at mtprint.com. Obviously, high school is a fantastic experience. Uh, I, you know, I'm not going to date myself, but reminiscing on my five years, I grew up in London, and I went to a similar high school, Catholic Central, and uh, was elite at sports, and uh, the, the culture there, and, and just by the, the, the room here, and everyone taking pride in how they look, and, and being here tonight to support each other, uh, it's just, uh, it just reminds me of the olden days, and, and something that you never forget, and you always cherish, so time goes by fast, so always remember these moments to young student athletes. Um, you know, I, I, I'll try to keep it short, so I'm going to focus on a few specific things, and, and obviously, um, specifically you young student athletes, you're all at various places in your, your budding careers, you might be a grade nine, you might be moving on to university, wherever it is that you're going, um, you use the tools that have been provided to you through your coaches in your respective sport to be successful in your future life, okay? And that's not on, off on the field, that's off the field. Um, one thing that I talk about all the time to our team at Waterloo, and obviously, uh, what he said, you know, when I took over, we weren't very good at all. And, uh, but, you know, there was one thing about the group of 38 young men that, that were there, is that they had character. They actually taught me in the first two seasons when we were only 16, and trust me when I say I'm not used to losing uh, two games a year, let alone eight, but uh, they taught me some things that were very valuable moving forward in my coaching career, and, and um, character is a huge, huge word um, in any sport, okay? Talent sets the floor. Character sets the ceiling, all right? What defines character? Commitment. Commitment's a word that's thrown around all the time. But are you truly committed? To be committed, you have to be dependable. Dependable means you show up on time, you show up all the time. When the going gets dirty, you pull up your sleeves, and you, get, and you rub your elbows and you get going, you work hard, okay? These are words. Uh, part of character is being a good teammate. Okay? Being a good teammate is doing your job if you're in a team sport. You know, whether it's basketball doing your one fifth, and football we talk about doing our one twelfth. Okay? If it's an individual sport, it's doing your job in your respective category that you're competing in. But being a good teammate is empowering your teammates. Your job as an elite athlete is to make the people around you better. How do you do that? by ultimately having character. When we call coaches about recruiting, and a coach says he's a character guy, you know, the first thing that sometimes comes to our mind is like, yeah, but the coach like, can he play? <laughs> you know, because there's always those people on a team that are dependable and show up and are great teammates. But to be an elite team and to be an elite athlete, you have to have those same characteristics. And that's, that's a pressing point as you go on in, in what you guys are talking about, your journey. That's something that you always have to look in the mirror and ask yourself about your character, okay? It's not one single word. There's so many other things underneath that word that form your personal character, okay? Um, when you're talking about being an elite athlete, Goals, okay? It's never too early to set high goals, okay? You want to set goals that are very, very high, but they're also attainable, okay? Setting unrealistic goals means you're kind of like a dog chasing your tail, okay? You, want, you don't want to set them too low so that you can just check the box, all right? You want to set them high so that you have to work and strive for them to be successful and attain those individual goals. Part of those goals, okay, in doing anything as you guys move forward, um, you know, is, is, is being a student. Um, you know, you all have to be here in school paying attention. And, and for some of you, uh, depending on where you are in your careers, you know, 
whether you're, you're looking to get a U Sports scholarship or looking at an NCAA scholarship, whatever it is, use your sport, okay, to get an education. Use your sport to get an education. Show of hands, how many people have a part-time job? Okay, good amount of people, all right? So think about how many man hours, or woman hours, you have to work, okay, to earn $4,500. I'm just gonna speak to you sports, to earn $4,500. Think about how many hours you have to work to earn $4,500, that's the maximum amount we can give. But you have to be in school each and every day. So why don't you change the stigma of what people perceive, because perception is reality, of student athletes, you know, always kind of the, you know, the, the guys having fun in the back of the classroom. Change the perception, be in the front of the classroom, be a leader. Okay, you have to be there. And all you have to do is just give a maximum effort. Okay, and whatever it is you're studying, obviously you have to give a maximum effort in the things you're good at. Keep practicing those, keep studying those. You also have to give a maximum effort in the things you're not so good at. I was really good at geography, like coloring the lakes blue. <laughs> but I practiced that a lot. That being said, um, it, it's just, you have to give a maximum effort. And this kind of is a segue into my next point about choices. Choice. Choice is ultimately every single one of yours to an individual. You have a choice to do what you want to do. You have a choice to empower yourself. You have a choice to be positive or a choice to be negative. Ask yourself, you have the choice to ask yourself, how good do you want to be? How good do you want to be? Not how good your friends want you to be, or your parents want you to be, or your siblings want you to be. How good do you want to be? You set your standard of elite, and you hold yourself accountable to that. You have a choice to do that. You also have a choice, um, one of the big things that I talk about with our guys is the choice to be positive, okay? You know, you know getting through it, I'm not gonna go through my career as a player or as a coach, but it's been associated with a lot of great people, great coaches, great teammates that, that afforded me an opportunity to win a lot of football games and a lot of championships. Um, and so going through the tough times in the first couple years uh, when, uh, when we tried to rebuild Waterloo's program, um, you know, each and every day I left the house, I had to, to make a choice whether I wanted to dwell on the negative or dwell on the positive. And I chose, chose at that point in time um, to always be positive. The glass is always half full, not half empty. Okay? And through the peaks and valley of the last four years of the University of Waterloo football program, I firmly believe that it's a top-down effect from the leadership. And if you have a positive attitude, if you choose to be positive, even when things around you are negative, and trust me, we respect individuality. Everybody has a story. Everybody has good days to peace and bad days to balance. What helps you push through and stay the course is having a positive outlook and a positive attitude. So in our locker room, we have the word hope on the wall. Hope for an acronym of have only positive expectations. I believe in it. I believe our players believe in it. And I believe that this is one of the reasons that we've been able to turn our program around. It also helps to get really good athletes too. But having that positive attitude, having a positive environment, and understanding that no matter who you are or where you are in the pecking order on your team, you have the power. And, the, and I know it sounds cliche, the power of positivity, but it, it really is a truthful thing. Because if you are positive, choose to be positive even in difficult moments it pays itself forward and then the next person feels your good vibe and keeps moving it forward and I'm not trying to be all hunky-dory here trust me I yell and scream a lot on the football field but my point with this is is that in today's world and, and I know that you guys are on social media and all the various platforms it's a whole bunch of negativity Okay, and this isn't a philosophical speech here. This is about how it all comes back to sport. 
Sport has such a positive impact on people. Just take a look at Jurassic Park. All right? Part of that is being positive. Winning is obviously positive. But the test of true character is how you respond, how you respond to the negative. And the only way to respond is to be positive, choose to give a maximum effort, and work your ass off with a smile on your face. <laughs> Have a good night. Thank you. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.